All right. Good morning, everybody. Um, and uh, thank you for joining today's webinar entitled um, CRISPR Edited Mammalian Cell Lines, Advantages, Applications, and Tips for Using this Revolutionary Technology. Uh, my name is Laura, and I am the Senior Marketing Specialist for CRISPR Services here at Genscript. I'm pleased to introduce our presenter today, um, Dr. Peter Dye, who is the Associate Director of Gene here at Genscript. And he has years of CRISPR um, and gene synthesis experience. experience. Um, so the CRISPR technology has quickly become one of the most exciting gene editing techniques available, and it's revolutionized biology research across many disciplines. And so in this webinar, we'd like to introduce and discuss CRISPR gRNA libraries, um, which enable genome-wide, large-scale screening of important gene targets. So if you have any questions during the presentation, um, please feel free to submit them by typing them into the questions field that you see on your screen, and we'll do our best to answer them after the webinar. Um, frequently asked questions with their answers as well, as the webinar itself will be posted on our website at www.genscript.com. And finally, at the end of the presentation, you'll receive a brief survey. Um, we encourage you to fill this out, um, as it'll help us better design and optimize our services um, to meet your needs in the future. And so without further ado, I will now pass this on to our presenter, uh, Dr. Peter Dye. OK. And thank you, uh, uh, Lawless, for the introduction for me. So before I, um, I, begin, uh, I begin, I want to quickly go over some of the topics that I will uh, uh, talk about in this today uh, webinar. The first one is personal background uh, introduction. The second one is CRISPR 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 introduction. Is the third issue is gene lab introduction. The final one is application of for gene library. Okay, let's go through this uh, my uh, second slides. I guess some of you guys maybe know gene script. Uh, some of them maybe uh, don't have not, uh, not much idea for gene script. So. Uh, I want to take a moment to introduce uh, uh, ourselves. Our company was founded in 2002 and with a mission to accelerate biological research by offering high quality cells and uh, biology agents, including customer gene synthesis and peptide antibodies and proteins, as well as CRISPR uh, editing cell line and early agent. We also offer discovery biology service to support drug uh, development and the catalog products to keep lab well stocked. We are one of the most kindly cited companies in the world, with over 10,000 publications citing our service. And finally, our motion is to make research easy, with the goal of accelerating research in both academic and the industry. So this is my personal background introduction. My name is Peter Dye, Department for Physician Gene Public Service Associate Director. My major molecular biology saw immunity, gene editing, cancer research. And also, uh, I guess three years to, uh, in major development neuroscience, uh, synthetic biology, especially for SC 2.0 project. So uh, the downstairs is work, my work experience. So I used to work so uh, four different uh, institutions and uh, with the postdoctor. The second, uh, the next slides we will introduce CRISPR Cas9. So before we talk about CRISPR Cas9, so let's see who is killer for CRISPR. And this is the paper 2016, and uh, Dr. Alec. Random load a paper to show who is killer for CRISPR. Actually, you guys can see in 2000, um, you can see the two, in 1993 discovered CRISPR and uh, to 2003 CRISPR is an adapt, adaptive immune system. And then 2016 experimental evidence that CRISPR called for adaptive immunity. And, and then 2008 program CRISPR and uh, CRISPR target DNA. 
and the 2010 Krishna is guided by CFRA and the creative double street bricks. 2010 discovery, Chunk RA. So there are so many persons that did a perfect job. 20 years started CRISPR and 12 cities in nine countries. But also they have some complement, right? Like uh, Jennifer Dahl and the example. Anyway, that's not this morning issues. What is CRISPR? We can see this uh, CRISPR is partially regulated interface short and geometric repeats. So original uh, originate from the adaptive immune system in bacteria. Uh, you guys can say if bacteria uh, virus infect bacteria, the what the virus DNA is included from the fragment and are uh, inserted to the principal locate space. It's black color. And then for the second infection, fragment will uh, become part of CRISPR RNA. Why? Because in the bacterial chromosome, there has chunk RNA and the case complex. After transcription, chunk RNA uh, plus the case, uh, case line and uh, the CRA to form the complex. So it means the second effect fragment become part of CRISPR. Chris RNA, get a piece like to target the virus DNA to cut piece by piece. So cross to CRISPR, we actually talk about this. so much Chris is cross to CRISPR system in as simultaneous. So this map may be very easy to see. Uh, this cross to is called to works. The chunk RNA is here and the CRISPR LA. So after this insertion, transcription, to uh, produce pre, pre RNA. And this is chunk RNA. And then after this RNA3, cut this pre, pre RNA, and this CRI will bind it to crystalline protein with quick RNA to form the function of complex. And since this complex uh, to target the PAM, the proto adjacent motif, this case line will be working to cut upstream a three base P in here, and the double street break will be capping. Classify of CRISPR system, just while we talk about it, plus two. Actually, there has so many different types of CRISPR. Let's see. This table shows classification of example CRISPR system. This class one, type one, is cascade in E. coli. This type three, A, type three, type three, cas ten, type three B is CMR. Type two is, is very popular guys case line. It's a single protein, the vector, chunk RNA, also need a class C I. Type four is very popular. Call for case line is CPF1. Just up and then I will show the more detail for this CPF1. This CPF1 is a single protein in vector, just need a single iron guide. Then we need to just chunk. So working very really well. It goes to slide 10. Adaptive immunity in micro crystal system. So just so we talk three different type case a CRISPR, right? So how how do they works? The phase infection in here, okay, and the phase DNA is genomic DNA, okay. This genomic a uh, genomic DNA will be targeted by case uh, complex to cut piece by piece insertion to special lo locus. This locus is a case crash pattern. So this space this is the color is uh, CRA, and after transcription, this is RNA polymers too. So you can find it type one, type two, type three. And type one, just like we talked about cascade. So this this uh, guiding are very uh, typical because this is second shuttle and um, RNA protection structure is quite short. This one's case line. 
It's very typical. It's very powerful cash line, PAM. And this one, you can see it's black color. It's chunk RNA. The red color is CRNA. OK? Type 3 is like you can see this is CRNA. Almost no chunk RNA. But anyway, the final is deep grade DNA. It's by piece. But CPF1, you can see it's totally different. The PAM is far away from the cut site. This is a special one. Special two is the cut site is unique. Not the not double, double straight break in. At the terminal is blunt. OK, it's the nickel. You can see the U6 CRNA and it's this CPF1, this target genomic attitude. So this single principle. CRISPR guiding eye is quite short, you can see. Almost just a CRNA, not much a chunk RNA, okay. And this off target is quite low and working well. So next slide is developing a CRISPR case line for genome engineering. You know, actually, uh, just so we talk about it, from 1993, the people found the CRISPR system and to 2008, almost not much paper published. But in 2010, Janet Dolan found this CRISPR can sound functional to protect bacteria by uh, cut uh, uh, which, uh DNA. And then this, this topic is so hard from 2011 12 to 2013. Zhang Bu's lab, Feng lab published so much paper for. And right now, almost touched five Kanyan to six Kanyan papers publishing one year for CRISPR case 9. You can see uh, B, this case 9, this yellow color is PAM. This is, is a, a chunk RNA, and this is the CRNA. Both RNA to form the complex. We, we call this RNA a single guiding RNA. Okay? And get working, and the case line will cut upstream three to four nucleotide. Double DSB, double street break will be happening, and one way to NHEG. And later I will show the more detail what happened for NHEG, and another way is HDR. Okay? We we'll see CRISPR case line application. There are so many applications, such as genomic editing, like NHEG. Here in Indo, that means phase shift. It's target protein, target gene will be mutation. Phase size change, HDR, and the crime song arrangement. This is very powerful tool for uh, human life and transgenic mouse. Okay. Genome wide screen, lockout library, like Google library, and later I will show the more. Lots of functional screen and the gate of functional screen. A future direction, human therapy, such as like CAR-T, right? This right now is cell therapy is very popular. The college engineer, two development. Gene regulation, DK slide. DK slide means some domain mutation to get the one single uh, trade break. Transcription repress, transcription activation, or DK slide both to both domains mutation just only to drive the single RNA to special size. Epigenetic genetic modification. Other use for DK slides, genomic location image, especially for neural science, right? Synthetic genetic circuit and RNA manipulation, improving specificity per needs, box one, fusions, shunted sgRNA. So this slide is application genome engineering. Just so we talk about the application, so much useful, right? So what purpose, what, what benefit we can get? So you can get with the case slide to build an animal model, right? Like cancer model. The Feng Zhang's lab published paper. He built a model for lung cancer in mice, okay? Also this monkey, that's a powerful animal model. Genetics evaluation, you can get uh, so many different cell types, lock in, lock out, or cell selection. Material, okay, and the food, like rice, coal, you can change the, you can change the stream, develop the new stream. Killer, 
also you can develop some uh, new marketing to produce a human gene surgeon and drug development. The kind of DSP report use CRISPR case line. So the first AC you can see this is the left side, double then double straight break. Okay. One way goes to lung complex any joints, NHEG. That means you the, the, the bacteria will um, repair by its mechanics. So that will be happens in the indio mutation and pre pretty much uh, stop coding. That means this type of gene totally mutation, the protein definitely ex ex translation frame will be shift. The another way is homolog connected repair. This way, you, if, we, if we provide a donor, I will, you can lock in any fragment you want. Get the lock in thing. See, case line. Case line can two domain. This two domain, the function is independent. Okay, you can, you can mutate IUVC domain or you can mutate HNH, HNH domain. I will get the NIC Schneider system, that means to cut single street. The downstream A and B is nucleus. You can see K Schneider two function domain, RUVC and HNH domain. Okay. If you mutant one, for example, if you mutant RUVC, okay, then another domain is work. HNX, HNH. You get a single street click. If you mutant HNH, so RUVC domain will be work. So like B shots, you can get the double nick, whatever you want. So for this slide, I will show move to the not topic GRI library introduction. Okay. What's our GRI library? It allow you to synthesize GIs that mutant activate or repress any gene in the in, in the genome. New tenants. The second is idea for large scale screening. The third is idea alternative to SHRA based screen. Done to off target and false negative. The first you need to design right with bioinformatics GIS, whatever you want. Oh, right now the phone also have built so much GIS, so we don't need to design this. All of this in, in the stock. And then you need to clone this uh, GI audio proof into the target vector. So maybe it's only one vector or dual vector. And secondly, you need to amplify GIS contract to 25 micron because one wireless package minimum we need 20 micron for one uh, flash bottle. And, and, and then you can pack the vector to the antivirus particle, particles. Type of CRISPR library. You want to like work out mutant, genes, targeting, and gene in genome. Phase shift mutations result in high frequency loss of function. Second, CRISPR activation, activator. Use inactive case like to activate gene transcription. The target transcription part size TSS from upstream four kind base P to fifty base P. CRISPR inhibitor with a CRISPR I use inactive case line to inhibit gene transcription. Target upstream of TSS fifty base P. Base pace to three kinds of base pace related to target gene. Paper and application for CRISPR library. So the first one, what do you what do you can do to paper and ap application for CRISPR library? So you need a guiding library synthesize. This is the article pool. You can just one time synthesize thousand, thousand giants. There are so many companies did this job. Cloning of guiding on a plasmid library. That means you need to clone the uh, or, or 
GNRW put to packet vector. And set is anti virus package. You need the package is uh, rub DNA to lentil particle. And then you need to transduce this wild particle to target cell. Multiple genotype and the phenotype screening. And finally, you need the enrichment and desired phenotype. Here is the selection process with special antibiotic. It is CGHI. They has so many different uh, library. Transcription control this library. In fact, control transcription. Epigenetic modulation. This also you can change the histone. There is special protein. And edge DNA labeling. This you can label the DNA. How do you do this job? Because you can use your FITC to GIA and get this library. So you can see where the GIA's location. Okay, this is DNA labeling. And also it's eye like this blue line. This is fantastic job. This is a single guide RNA and plus some special protein and with the blue light to light on or off inducible regulation. Transcription activation use uh, that kiss line. This means this kiss line is totally mutation. Okay, so this slide is a very fantastic job represented by those special research and scientists. A transcription repress. We say CRISPR I. There are two ways to build this job is working. One way is EK slash location in PSS upstream, 15 bit base pay, or downstream after TSS three kind of base pay. In this location, this gene target gene cannot be in transcription. In this target gene transcription will be repressed. The second way is this case line using another special transcription repressed factor, KROP. Since this KROP using the case line and to special location, this target gene or transcription also will be blocked. For this B transcription activation, we say transcription a uh, CRISPR A. One way is DK slide to fuse the WP64. This WP64 is transcription factor. Your active transcription. So also need DK slide to locate a special size. Upstream PSS transcription start size 400 base p to 15 base p. So another way to activation to is very fantastic jobs, DK slide fusion peptide epitopes, and then to work with VB64 with the SCFV antibody probe to activate target gene. We'll see multiple activation and repress. Some people did not a job for a case like crystal from there has a special second structure. So like here, you can see if we add the lead color MS2 binding with MCF, MCP and if if we fusion to VP64, there will be active gene in transcription. Also if a PP7 PCP and fusion with Kerala, just what we talked about Kerala is transcription repression. So this means this target gene transcription will all be blocked. So for BC, so this is our this evening is later we will we talk about more. This is DK slide and the with VP64. And this is a special guiding RNA, single guiding RNA. This guiding RNA actually is modified because he this single Guiding RNA fusion with MS2, this special after RNA structure, 
and uh, LCP will bind this size, uh, P65 will bind P MCP, and the violent diffusion transcription activator HS1. So after this complex form, this complex will activate the target gene transcription. The second slide is transcript library for its normal wide screen. There are two different types of uh, GIs developed by Song Zhang's lab. One is GIGO, it's not skill, crystal lockout. Another one is SAM, which says synergistic vision mediator. So GIGO with two libraries, normal skills, crystal lockout. Lockout all no coding regions, not just gene, okay? It's lockout all no coding regions for lots of function screen. SAM library is a synergistic activation in it activate all no coding regions in the human genome for A of functional screening. You guys also can check the paper, it's from Fondance Lab 2014 and uh, this also is 2014. Gene script of instruct genome wide face lockout and activator library available for immediate delivery. We, after the order paste, we can deliver the Beagle library and the SAM library with five to seven business days. So they will be totally speed your research. Save your time, save your money. Beagle with two library service specification. So we develop one Beagle uh, library customer service and offshore. You can see catalog number is SC1753. Library name, we already developed the different library is available. So human library A is 65,383 sequence. So each of 19,015 genes has three single guide RNA. For 1,864 for microRNA, each micro has four single guide RNA. We also have one cell control lung target SGRNA. This is much important for your screening. So for human library B, it's 58,028 sequence, 19 gene is the same, the three single guide RNA. This also is the same. A and B is different. It's that for A, that has some micro RNA, single guide RNA, but B is not there. For mouse library A, that has 67,405 sequence, 20,611 genes, each gene has three guide RNA. 1175 micro RNA has four guide RNA. Also, it's one cell control. Most lab B is the same, just no migraine, single guide eye. Vector, you can have two options. Vector one is GI pool clone to the only one vector. The only one vector is much easier to manipulation. You just need to transfer one time. For option two, GI pool clone to planting guide pure vector accompanied by planting kiss night blast. Deliverable, start deliverable from one microgram and 25 microgram, 100 microgram transfection uh, plus minute. If you, you and you, can, you need more, we can do it more. Quality control, final project report including ABI file from se sample sequence for small scale test. A statistical summary from next generation sequence validations, one fold coverage larger than 95%. This is one vector. This is two vector. So why do I use one vector for a dual vector system? One vector include K-slide and a GI. Only transfect cells once. You just need to transfect one time. GI and K-slide expression driving 
in one to one ratio. Low theta, not idea for card to transfer so. Okay. Unit vector, GI and P line are on separate vector. You need to transfection first with the case line, get the stable saw line, and then you transfer GI pool vector with another antibiotic screen marker for targeting multiple GIs. So this is think all you want vector operation is simple. But this one is dual vector system, means two vector. But different so type may uh, transfer different. So people will according to your operation which kind of solar you want to handle. So at one teach Google library. So lots of function screen by gene knockout. It's a powerful tool for systematic gene genetic analysis in mammalian cells. Genomic skill, functional interrogation, for example, single transaction pathway, and drug discovery, right? target identification and drug making study like GPCR receptor target. Let's turn 10 years ago, genome wide on a screen were established as an important tool to study mammalian functional genomics. However, it has two major limitations. One is incorporate lockdown. Two is of target effect. CRISPR Cas9 system is a revolution, like revolutionizing gene editing in all cell type. Several publications demonstrate CRISPR technology can overcome the disadvantage of RNA. One skill in less than 95 percent stable can reduce the cell. The second is GRM more specific than SHRE. Big way to level include non-target control. This is very important when you screen the target function. And also improve the antivirus vector efficiency. Not now, this randomized infection pack efficiency is very high to 10 live titers. Synergistic activation mid aid SAM. So just what we talked about, when people do the X-ray for Kisnai second structure analysis, they found four different domain, special location, can binding special on a second, second structure. So this reason why the people design this system. This is not just a single guideline. Actually, it's totally modification. So this is CRNA. This is another MS2 RNA Aptemis. So this is VP64. Since MS2 binding this MS2 RNA Aptemis, MS2 protein will have interaction with P65, and then with another transcription activator, HSF1. If I need to form the functional like this, so this is a SAM complex, three components. One, nuclear like tickling in active case line VP64 fusion. And SGRA incorporate to MS2 RNA optimus at the tetra loop and stem loop. The MS2 plus P65 plus IGS F1 activation copper protein. So these three different vector. Okay. So operation like this, you need to transfer this vector first, this number one and get the stable zone, and then you need the transfer second vector, which is number two, MS2, P65, and HSF1. Uh, since you've got the second stable zone with special antibiotic screen, and then you transfer the third vector, this is SAM library. So what you can do, 
can be used to active transcription of a single gene, multiple genes at once in the same cell, up to 10 times treated effective, or using a rival for screen, active all genes in the genome, but only one gene per cell, control with the molecule of infection. This number is from just rapid variable job is 0 0.3. Some library self specification. So we also developed the catalog the service SC1754. Library name a human SAM library. Descriptions 70,219 journal descriptions. For 23,400 unique code S form, each S form has three targets in human genome. Deliverable, the standard deliverable, start from 1 micron or 25 micron or 1 kind of micron or 2 kind of micron, whatever scale you want, we can deliver. Quality control, the final project report including ABI file from the sequence for small-scale test. A statistical summary from next generation sequence validation, one-fold coverage less than 95%. So this is three vector, okay? This vector is guiding on a lentil expression vector. This two vector is code vector. In case you order our SM library, we will um, send to you with this two couple vector without any charge. So when you do some, you need to transfer two vector first and uh, transfer to the final vector guiding on a anti expression vector. I won't teach of some library. One can be used for gain of functional screening to identify genes whose upregulation is, is su sufficient to produce a genotype of interest. Second, some guide eye have been validated across the entire human genome to the boost, the best accurate expression of genes and an INC eye, even those that are normally transcriptionally expressed. Perform experiment with poor CRISPR library. So, since you want to the library how to, how to follow this procedure to make the library and uh, to operate the library, transfer the library to the cell line, let me show you one by one. The ones synthesize the GI oligo pool and clone them into target vector. So that means what vector you want. I guess you guys probably do different jobs, right? In different in different kind of cell line. Some cell line is much easier to transfection, right? But some of them is very really difficult. That's the reason why we use lengthy wire, because lengthy wire transfection is efficient is quite high. The second is amplifying the library. Actually, this job is not easy. You need to cost a lot of time and uh, cost a lot of money. Why? Because you need a tenant to amplify the library with very careful the operation, step by step. And also, you need to validate this library with NGS set next generation sequence to four to confirm this library is good or not good. Okay. So NGS part is cost quite high and also amplifies so complex in the labor job. This reason why we, sh we can offer you this library is much cheaper than you do in-house. Packet library DNA to learn to value particle. This also is very important. The fourth step is Provide one library to target source. Molecular of infection is 0.3. Five, perform screen. It's 
First, you need to uh, transduce tra your wireless to the target zone and get the stable zone line and perform PSA free uh, sequence library and get to see how many giants inside the target size in genome. So, positive screen identifies cells that cross its next gen mechanism. Negative screen identifies cells that die after synection. So, next generation genome library development. Uh, except just so we talk about a Giggle library and the same library line, relationally, some people also develop the two different libraries. So let me show you what's the library. The people call this is Brownlee Law, this library, and Brian, these two libraries. From this uh, chart, the on target and off target properties of the Brownlee Law and Brian library is distribution of the rule set to on target. This size shows target is the value. This is giga V2. Okay, so it's good actually, almost touched 0 0.7. And uh, this one is new development. We also to contact uh, MIT to get this license in. Okay. And uh, this side is off target. This human, this mouse. So we can see this 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 library is on target is good, right? It, and but not much different with Google. We too, and also need more uh, research data to support. Overview. The final one application for GI library. Application disease research. So this library can what what we can use this library. So the purpose we can use to for genomics analysis of disease. The ability to protect of genome has led it to kind of GWAS genome wide analysis. Use single gun RNA for kaposis driven approach where you look for phenotypes. Library are a complementarist approach where you carry a phenotype and want to discover new or multiple genetic elements and interactions. Also, Gigo only targets gene and a migraine. The power of screen at the DNA level compared to RNA is that the other large 8.5 percent of the genome. Long transcript genome is not targetable. Application cancer target identification. No one in vivo screens use Gigo library two, Gigo V2 library. Start with a cell line that already has case nine, added a single RNA library. That's here, you need this cell line already has this case nine, okay? And then you transplant single RNA library with subacute uh, cuteness and transplant. Look at enrichment in tumor, CTC bloodstream, and uh, metal tennis. Some library will genetic contributors to melanoma drug resistance. Different gene expression profiles in drug resistant cancer cells then drugs response to cancer cells or normal cells, which are phenotype drivers. Some level is valuable not just for studying disease states, but also to control states. Overview all gene script CRISPR library service. Some library, free much level wide gain of function screen, the plus transcriptal acquisition of each gene in single screen. Specific Specificity are confirmed by CRISPR GRNA target. Activate or no coding as formed in reference sequence database. Start at 4, 99, 
4,000 kind of line for 25 micron. This look for immediate delivery. We can deliver it after all the patches with five to seven days. So Giga V2 library type it's gene and the migraine in the mouse and the female genome. It's surprised the same for 4,000 like kind of 99 for 25 micron. This back for immediate delivery. You can check our website www.genescript.com please for Giga library or some library. Other source free CRISPR candle book. So we also offered CRISPR candle book, a comprehensive introduction to the CRISPR case genome editing technology, workflows and case study to implement CRISPR into your research, overview of research applications. You also check to our website, you just can download without any charge, it's free. Thanks for attending. So type your questions into questions field on your go to webinar toolbar. Please complete the serial you received by email. Check out Uncom and Church webinar at www.gspeak.com webinar.html. Or you can any question you can email to me pete.dai.gspeak.com. Any question? If you have any question, visit our website or just send question to my email directly. Thank you for attending. Is any question? No question? So I actually I have a question is is NGS part. And a lot of people ask me, so uh, perform NGS is quite complex. And uh, how to set up the standard reference? So why you set up the 95% rather than not one kind of person? Actually, you know, and uh, since you get the amplify, amplify this library, you cannot perform one kind of person. Sometimes we, we, we can we can reach this this one kind of person, but also you need to construct the library sequence sequence library. So this of this performance the efficient probably is ninety five percent or as up right five. So another another the, the bug is since you send this sample to the uh, also the special NGS sequence random. The perform also cannot be guaranteed to one kind of person. So that means the final efficiency we set up as, as larger than 95 percent. But in previous we delivered some solo library, the quality is very good because our customer sent the feedback to me, all the library quality is really perfect. Because we got one fold coverage is one kind of person. Even ten fold coverage is almost is reached to like person. So that's the reason why we operate this library amplification is very careful and each step can show set the uh, QC stand standard. So can more question? Okay. All right. I got the another question. So, uh, okay. I saw the at attendee this um, asking the question: How to identify uh, how to identify the mutant gene? Okay. And uh, typically, uh, typically uh, the. Uh, after this, uh, the library, the wireless, okay, particle can be used to touch the cell line. And uh, since you screen the stable cell line, probably like five to seven, day, seven days, or some special cell line, probably in the two weeks. And uh, since you got a stable cell line, and uh, you 
purified genomic DNA, okay? And uh, your special primer, uh, actually we can copy you to design the primer or you can left in the phone down paper and uh, you can run the PSAR free and uh, get the PSAR product. That means why we talk about PSAR free because this PSAR amplification is not increase the copies for the lateral as uh, copies because of the PISA cycles about uh, 18 cycles. So almost almost the, the, uh, present the lateral copies in the genomic side. And then you can get this uh, PISA product and then you and then you can construct the sequence library and send out it for anywhere in the NGS sequence vendor. And you can get a lot of them and uh, you, you can analyze by software. You can see which gene mutation and uh, how many copies of mutation is much clearer. Okay, that's very, very good question. So some some guy asked me the question, how about application in non-human lab? Yeah. That's 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 a good point. But the line now is uh, and uh, how to say? That's how I talk about because we the Fungus Lab designed this uh, library. Why Fungus Lab is easy to do up in this big true library? Because he has very good uh, single on a design system. We say bioinformatics. But for yeast, you can design. Okay, it doesn't matter. So you can you can design because the yeast I I, I know yeast single on is a little bit different, right? Second structure is a little bit uh, complex. So that's okay, no problem. You can design the, the genes whatever you want because yeast gene probably is less than human, right? And uh, you can you can synthesize oligo pool and uh, clone two like a PGL4, right? Special vector and the tra tra transfer this vector to the uh, yeast stream. I think it should be get a work. The procedure should be similar with the human mouse. Okay. Okay. The, the 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 third question is also why would you use MOI of 0 0.3? This MOI 0 0.3 is a molecule of infection. But the, the, the main the main issue I should uh, talk about uh, speak very clear. So means we want to keep the cell single cell just only one a uh, single guiding RNA. Okay, just so I talk about. So that means we I should use less uh, lentil particle as few as part uh, uh, the DNA as few as possible. Um, this 0 0.3 lot I designed is a, a from dance lab to after so long time. His his lab his lab think thinks this 0 0.3 MOI is perfect for uh, fecal rubber tube wide screen. If you, we talk about, if you use the MOI is high, probably one single cell get so many as, as single guiding RNA, right? That means that one cell probably has uh, so many target genes mutation. Probably this phenotype is so complex and then you, you maybe it's, it's much difficult to screen. But you ask me why it's 0 0.3, I just told you this actually is still up by Fungus Lab. Okay. So does any question? So most of the question I answered uh, I answered. And uh, if you guys have more questions. And uh, can more interesting for our Kiko library, some library, you can check our website, or you just uh, send your any question, any issue, any curious uh, research and uh, protocol, 
uh, to my email address to that. It's okay. Thank you. Laura. Hi, Peter. Thank you very much for your uh, for your presentation. And everyone, I just wanted to thank you again um, for yes. taking your time you. to attend. And again, we will be posting this webinar on our website. And also, if you have any, any questions, please feel free to call us or email us, sorry. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. And have a great day. And best wishes for you and your research.